hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, hello, welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, because I'm the flower that blooms at night. And today, we are serving full-on acidic green grunge glamour realness. That was a mouthful and a lot of alliteration. I picked up this wig from Webster Wigs in like a mystery wig haul, which I will link down below for you guys to watch. And I was trying to think of a way to like incorporate it on my channel, so um... This is the look that came out of it. We have a green lip, we have grungy green eyes, and we have like an acidic bright bra complete with like fishnet costumes. So um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below any other videos you want to see from me, and don't forget to subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should be one new video every single Monday, and without further ado, let's get green, shall we? Thanks for watching. So I'm going to be starting this transmission off with my base and brows already done. I will leave my full coverage highlight and contour routine linked down below. For my eyes, I took the NYX Swear Bite palette, and honestly, I just wanted to play in the colour green today and just make everything super, like, blown out and grungy. So I first just started by taking this absolutely stunning kind of acidy green and just buff that all through my crease and back towards my temples. Like I said, I want this look to just be very smoky and blown out, so, um... Girl, blend that shit, like, all the way into your hairline. I then took a slightly deeper shade of, like, an apple green and just concentrated that more into the crease of my eye, just to add a little bit more depth and definition to the look and kind of aid in the overall kind of smoke factor of the kind of eyeshadow look. For my eyelid, I took the gorgeous olive green shimmer. I didn't, like, cut my crease or anything. I just kind of patted this all over my lid. Like I said, I wanted this look to be a little bit more smoky, a little bit more grungy, so it wasn't really precise. I kind of just applied that all over my eyelid area. To make this look into more of a spotlight eye, I took this absolutely stunning kind of pastel green from the Give Face Cosmetics Construction Palette and just kind of made it more into a spotlight eye. I then deepened the inner and outer corners with this gorgeous like deeper mossy kind of blue green shade and um girl, I was so happy with how this look turned out. From here, I threw on a super thick winged liner off camera and also added some black to my waterline. To really kind of add some acid element to the look, I took the limelight shade from Makeup Geek and just patted that kind of on the eyelid as well as really heavily on the inner corner, just to add that really like fun acid green pop to the look and uh... Girl, you guys know how much I love my acid green. I then smacked out my lower lash line using those exact same shades that I use kind of in the upper crease area. And like I said, I want this look to be very grungy and blown out, so um, I blended it very low down. To contour, I went in with my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Kit and just heavily contoured the shit out of my round hamster face. And then for blush, I just heavily packed on kind of a mix of like rosy tones. I wasn't really sure what blush colour to do, but um, you guys know I love blush, so uh, I packed it on really heavy as per usual. I then went in with the summer shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just heavily drenched my entire face and body and chest and everywhere in it since, girl, I love to look nice and glowy. For my lips, I then finished it off with Jeffree Star's Dirty Money, which honestly is such a stunning green. I didn't think I love green as much as I do, but um, I really do. For lashes, I went in with these gorgeous lashes that I got from falseeyelashes.co.uk. I will link them down below, and that is the finished look. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh... There'll be more footage up on my Patreon of the entire look in its full body glory. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.